Crafting a Nestle at Create with Cynthia, a DIY hobby and craft blog where I share DIYs and step-by-step -step tutorials for the vintage enthusiasts. I love vintage. I love old doorknobs, spindle legs, irons, old jewelry. Anything that looks chippy is the way I like to paint. And I love having my boys. I love it when they're happy and they're playing together. And I love my dogs, my two little puppies. This channel is an expression of who I am and what I love to do. My hope is that you'll be inspired to create with me. So grab a cup of coffee, take a seat, and let's get started. Hey there, it's Cynthia Nestle at Create with Cynthia, and I'm the owner of Create with Cynthia. I have a website and a blog post, and I also have a shop. And on my shop, you can purchase the products I'm using here today and some of the projects that I've completed. This is a new secretary desk that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. That's where I get most of my furniture finds. Occasionally from the Goodwill or secondhand store, but I find Facebook Marketplace to be super easy and fast and you can negotiate. So I spend about $40 on the secretary desk and um, what I did is I painted um, the, the sides and top in DIY White Swan. I like to paint with White Swan. Uh, it's my favorite white color of choice. Um, and I now want to stamp some florals on this roll top part of the desk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using Iron Orchid Designs, they're the core stamps. Sally and Josie are the creator of Iron Orchid Designs and this decor stamp is called Rose Toile. So let me show you what you do when you first get a decor stamp. So you want to take it out of your package, which I've done here, it comes with two backings. Just so you know, they're really durable. Um, I've never had any problem. I've been using them for quite some time now. Um, you want to season them first, and in order to season them, what you're going to do is you're going to take a 220 grit sandpaper, and you're going to um, sand the top of the decor stamps in both directions, really lightly, just a couple times. And I've already done it. Basically, you're going to go over the decor stamp one way, And then you're going to kind of clean it off. The decor stamps are super easy to pull off the packaging. Like I said, they're not breakable, well, you're not going to hurt them. Just rip them off like that. You can also put them on a thin mount. This is a, called a thin mount, and you can put it on a thin mount, and it actually helps when you're stamping if you have them on a thin so what you're going to do is you're going to take your brayer from Iron Orchid Designs and you're going to roll it into, I put on this paper plate some white swan. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll your brayer onto the paper plate to pick up some of the paint. The brayer allows you to pick up the paint in a more uniform way. Then I'm going to take my, my brayer here and my stamp and I'm going to roll the paint onto the stamp. Once I've got the whole stamp covered with paint,
So once I've got the whole stamp covered with paint, I'm going to wipe off around the edges where I made a little mistake. I'm gonna wipe off. Okay. So there you have it. I'm gonna do a few more. And if I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll just paint it white. That was my plan. Decor stamps are super easy to clean. What I like to do is right after I've used, used the stamp and I know I'm done, is I take it off the thin mount. And I always make sure when I'm working I have a bucket of water next to me. And so I just stick it in the bucket of water. And then that way it has time to soak and all the paint will come off of it. You don't want to leave it out to dry because the paint will get stuck in the little crevices and that's what's so neat about the stamps are that they show a lot of beautiful detail.